The amount of data worldwide is growing exponentially. Data storage requires energy, and data centers struggle with high power consumption and rising costs. By 2030, humanity will use 2% of global electric power just to retain data. The majority of data is kept for decades. Due to a lack of alternatives, high-performing storage devices such as SSDs and HDDs are used for long-term data storage, which is highly inefficient. In addition, 70% of data in data centers is rarely or never retrieved, thus permanently consuming energy. In some regions, the construction of new data centers has already been restricted. In addition, a supply gap is opening. The production capacities are lagging behind the rising demand for data storage. We found a solution for energy-free, cost-efficient, and temporally unlimited data storage that can be implemented as a new cold storage tier in data centers before 2030. We use high-tech glass foils with a thin dark ceramic coating and thousands of femtosecond laser beams to write structures at nanometer scale to create the most durable data carriers ever, resistant to the most extreme conditions. With the strong backing of investors, we are building the first device that demonstrates Cerabyte's capability to write, store, and read information at high speed and storage density. Our principle of combining cutting edge through already existing technologies and materials in an unconventional way is the essence of the short time to market of Cerabyte. The main parts, namely the data carriers, are made of materials which are widely available and are produced in hundreds of square kilometers per year. We develop a new cold storage tier featuring writing and reading speeds that will reach 10 gigabytes per second and a data density exceeding that of HDDs, eventually disrupting this $200 billion market. Cerabyte solves more than just one problem of our digital era, the high energy consumption of data storage and the long-term safekeeping of our digital heritage. It will render dozens of coal power plants obsolete and thus contribute to reaching global climate goals.